Hey, good morning. We are going to start with a pick a pile because I ran out of ideas this morning. I'm going to try to project my voice here for you because we have two interesting pick a piles. It's going to be your message going through to the lunar eclipse in Libra, which if you're a Libra sun sign, it's going to be a prevalent time for you. We have a smaller pick a pile as your first one. And then later you have a past, present and future love reading when I get back. So when I get back home, we're going to do all those afternoon readings. That way it brings you up to speed and it's in the current energy, if that makes sense. So if you chose pile number one, we're going to go to it. And I'm going to have you marinate. I, I'm going to start flashing them so that you can resonate first. So you could see the tea leaves. You can see the tarot cards that you get. And we are going to begin. Okay, so that's, that's pile one. And you had this as your main card. Um, and we didn't get to do hair and makeup today, so I'm not going to show much of the eyebrows because there is none. <laughs> and then for your second pile, one fell down. This is pile number two. It starts with the Knight of Cups. Then you have the Star. We have a card that says Barrier. Then you have the Bridge, two B cards. And then you have one Water Droplet. Okay, and you guys can read there, obviously, when I preview it. That's pile number two. Your messages for the Lunar Eclipse begin. We pan down so you can see how I arrange it and how I feel the energy and you do too. That way it's fair on both ends. And then this afternoon I was thinking of panning down, but you like to see reactions. And so I like to show you guys like my and my smile and so that you guys can join in too and smile at the same time. We have justice. Okay. Um, to begin with justice, not only is it your major arcana and it is honesty and it's the brutality of justice right when this comes in it can be environmental it can be you it could be the surrounding area there is something that's righted when she shows up or when this arcana is present in your life so she's a big staple if this is the first sign of the lunar eclipse it's something happening with self and your seventh house of relationships everything is for the self for libra during that lunar eclipse so pile number one, it's having to deal with you as a major person here, having to deal with love relationships, how you interact from childhood trauma, if that has actually taught you like a real carnal lesson too. And look how she's sitting there confidently like a queen of wands or queen of swords. So we have that first and then you have observe. I'm getting a couple of things already from pile number one. I do get a couple of ideas and maybe even for you to like apply this to your day or a diary for the day. So observe is observing those around you. It's your relationships. It's your mother and father. It's your kids, uh, even your environment at school, work or your place of occupation. Right now, the message is to keep on watch or keep your eyes open. So we have that and we're going to clarify heavily. We always do with your piles. I'm going to put that right here so justice is on top. We have the carrot card just in time for bunny season, right in time for Easter. This could be speaking to you. Maybe you have decorations already around the home with rabbits, which is very fertile. It reminds me of the Empress because she's the one that would be associated with fertility and having children and mothering energy, right? So this is here and I, I can see opportunity. It says opportunity or windfall. Nice, and it's very cold in this tarot room this morning, so if you hear me a little shiver, I'm so sorry in advance. It's just really, really cold. So we have opportunity or windfall. You might be receiving something, Libra, during the lunar eclipse. I don't know if it's directly a windfall of money or finances, but right now is the time to observe how others are interacting with you because you're the sign of relationships. So there's a message here about family, home, could even be your age at this time. I'm looking at Justice. She's really, really young, like in her mid-30s in this card. So we're going to clarify. You also have another tarot card. It's the Magician. Your soul contract or your path right now is, it's kind of asking you, well, not kind of, it's asking you to be brave enough to make a huge manifestation. You can watch manifestation videos all over YouTube. There's gurus that help you perfect this. It's a tool you could use as you observe as well. Your opportunities, who's in the near vicinity that can help you. Are there experts in your field also, okay, that you're trying to go down or something that you have expressive interest in? This is like the advice, okay? It's always my fourth card. 
I feel like it always falls in line with an energy read, but we're going to move forward because we need the time. <laughs> we have the lovers, okay? A mysterious lovers card with Gemini. Many of you who are going to resonate with this pile today, I have a feeling if justice was like your first indicator card or your significator, the lovers is also something you've been feeling sentiently. A new relationship, a soul bond. That could even be this carrot card. It could be the opportunity or windfall that you walk into, or it's a soulmate encounter, okay? I get like surprises from this first pile. I also get a message, and I do feel love, or you're manifesting this lover's entry, right? You're manifesting love yourself. So let's do this. Let's break it in. Let's get the first few cards from the Baroque. I'm going to draw out some major arcana. Some minors are going to fall too. Let's see what your message is through the lunar eclipse, which shines the light on relationships, what you're doing on your path, and what it's speaking to you too. The moon is going to reveal all of those pertinent informations for you. Okay, let's look at observe. What is Libra looking at right now? Okay, we have a sideways four of cups. That's not you. The four of cups here is someone else viewing you as a missed opportunity. They could actually be like an observer or they're the page of swords because basically when you break down the page of swords card it's observing someone right you could be heavily watched or your steps are and maybe you know about it too like i'm just confirming it you already know that okay um let's go for a little bit more the hermit you could be the hermit or the person on your mind is a hermit virgo I feel like you are coming out of this, though. If you were a heavy hermit before and Virgo's like in your sign very heavy, let's say it's in your big three. Let's just say for sake of argument. I feel like you're coming out of this isolation or a time of being buried in thought or overthinking. Or maybe you're someone who's a critical thinker and it's time now to take a rest. Your energy is like, again, let's go back to your advice card. It's asking you to manifest something where your skills are actually desired and needed by the collective, by other Libras. Um, your talents are needed there. I said yesterday in your love reading at night that readers need readers. Support needs support. And I'm getting that same feeling from your talents. Okay? So for a cups, I just want to go back to it gently. We do the readings real slow so you could see the energy. Someone's still offering a cup in the Four of Cups. They still want to extend something, but are they the observer? Let's get a yes or no card on that. Are they still observing? We have the Six of Cups, and I'm going to tell you how it came in. It was like this. Okay, I'm going to freeze frame a little bit so you could see the energy because upright, what does it mean? It means missing you, right? Or we have nostalgia, or there's memories that are encircling. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't take up your whole day. But when it's sideways, it means that we're coming out of it. The nostalgia is about to leave. And then you have a major arcana here that says love is coming in. Do you see how they dance in your morning reading here? So it has something to do with letting go. Six of Cups. This hermit, this could be you or them. It's coming in as like mutual for me as a reader. Hermit over here. Okay. What's the conclusion? Can I get two cards, please, from this deck? Please and thank you, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands for the Lunar Eclipse. Put that away. And all the plants started shaking when I did that. Maybe that's how they're coming in. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Knight of Swords, air energy. Okay, heavy on the Gemini for me as a reader, but it can also be Libra and Aquarius. Something's coming in fast. It doesn't look like it's defensive, though. It just looks like it's something that you need to hear. And it could be coming from two different gentlemen or someone that you've been waiting to hear on, if that's for a feminine, if it's for a masculine, looks like something is still coming in, right? Because this is impulsivity. This is also impulsive, but it's steady and fast. You receive a message about love. I can say that for sure with certainty. The Six of Cups is still a soul contract, and it is very, very loving. If you look up this card, it's probably the cutest and most loving card that expresses the past and also the future. Six of Cups can even be now for you. It could be music. It could be reviewing old VHS tapes. It's something sweet in the moment. And as it excels downward, we see that this is a definite outcome. There's some fire that's brought back into your life in pile number one. 
I can assure you. During that lunar eclipse, you're going to see energy levels rise. You're going to see that you're happier. You're also going to see that that moon or anything cloudy, pile number one, will be coming in with a different type of speed. And this is your likely outcome. 10-10 we ended on. I also think that it's a person. I just want to mention it's an energy coming in as a human contact between you and another. Again, Libra, this could be you because this is air. And then you have Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, which is trying to come in and like almost match you, if that makes sense. Okay. And I think it brings forward some honesty for both parties. That's justice. And she's the first card out. Okay. So leave your comments, please. I think you guys can extend it and actually let me know how this resonates. Because I can just show you the energy and you guys are the key holders, if that makes sense. Remember this card too. Carrot. It could also be the beginning of spring, the spring equinox, which starts on March 19th. Alrighty, pile number one, good luck. Looks like you have some speed that comes in during that time, which is March 25th. Pile number two is 1107. Let's break down that. 11 is lucky because it's manifestation and seven is a divine number. So we started at that time. Let's see what you got. And I'm going to put it right here. I just want to examine it with you. Knight of Cups, we start with romance and admirer. Someone coming in with a cup for you. Um, I'm getting like the word distinguished. So someone wants to look distinguished to you. That's pile number two. Second tarot card is the star. The water bearer, you could have Aquarius in your chart very heavy. Or you've chosen to heal. You all could also be a chosen one. Like you're coming up on a calling. I see that too. Knight of Cups, we have to clarify him. Okay, him or her. And we also have your first, uh, let's see, pick a pile type card with a river barrier was the name of it. All right, so I'm going to just flash it longer so I could describe the card to you. This barrier card is about you setting up stern boundaries. It could be your old self over here and you've hopped over and there's a huge like division where people cannot cross you. It's like your safe space in the middle. The barrier is what you've just recently established, pile number two. That's interesting because I feel like the star could have been birthed from having that barrier. You have restrictions now where people really can't, I guess they can't get one over on you is what I see here, but it's also made you become very faithful on your own spiritual trip. I think you're learning to how to say the word no with the star card. Does that make sense? Because I feel like this is always like an evolution based card. This is someone who's continually working on it. <laughs> you know, we don't stop on that. So I think you're continually working on yourself. You could even be doing something now with your body or holistic healing. Pile number two. Interesting that holistic came up because I was reading something a few days ago before we had our anniversary yesterday. And I saw the star card like two hours later. So that's definitely a message because it's coming through to your reading again. Holistics natural organic healing is what I get. We have the bridge card or the tea leaf. This is by Ray Hepburn. She designed this. The illustrations I think are from someone else. The bridge reads successfully overcome a problem. You're overcoming a problem crossing over to the other side or hmm, crossing over is another element that I see. You're crossing to the new side barrier. Look at that connection. And I think I mentioned at the beginning of your piles, there's two Bs. So you could write them down today in your phone or something. Like barrier and bridge might be something you want to include in your journaling. If some of you journal, the star has crossed over. Okay, we have to see how that relates to, though, to romance. Because the first card is the significator. If you watch any pickup piles, the person usually will have two to three significator oracle or tarot cards. So we have the Knight of Cups. Beautiful. For your lunar eclipse, what's being told to you is heal. However long that takes, whatever you choose to do on a daily basis, whether that's meditation. Um, for me as a reader, I like to watch Dolores Cannon videos. She's one of the most, I would say like epic, how do I want to word this? very sensitive clairvoyance of her time. Dolores Cannon has videos here on YouTube. Very, very helpful. So we have heal. 
and look at this other synchronicity. This star is about hope, faith, enlightening, escalation, acceleration, and then its cue card is actually heal. So it's basically identical. They're twins in your reading. That could mean something to you or you deal with the Gemini. The twins are Gemini also. All right, sun, moon, rising. Let's get it started. Uh, for the next few days, please, I'm preparing the deck for the next few days up until the lunar eclipse. This is the mermaid tarot. And a couple want to pop out here. I'm going to get this guy, this guy, and I'm feeling this one too. I see white feather tarot do that. She just shuffles and then she picks it. So I decided to do that for you. Bottom of the deck is the six of cups as well. So the same message in pile number two. What I get looking down at your tea leaf, the other ones didn't really speak to me as much. Someone's afraid once you cross this bridge, they'll continue to miss you or they'll long for you as you cross this threshold. This is a huge significator for you, pile number two. And there's, a, I feel like one or two is going to resonate with more of you guys today for the eclipse. So six of cups is at the bottom of it. I'm just curious. Ten of cups, the wheel of fortune, and the page of cups. Four of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, that's enough. Looks like it's someone you walked away from in the recent past. Maybe like a twin flame is what I see here. I'm going to leave that here in the viewfinder. We have three cards you don't know about to clarify the Knight of Cups. So let's look at it. And the big reveal is the Queen of Wands. Nice. The Emperor right here in the world big cards you guys it's, it's not a joke when you see this type of energy there's a lot going on here to fire i see a new romance that's budding after you've chosen to completely rid yourself from a chapter that's now over it's like the last cry one last cry one last tear i think brian mcknight has a song about like the one last cry or maybe it's tony braxton who's a libra <laughs> so after you heal, there's some type of like glow up that happens for you physically and also spiritually. Because if you look in this card, very island based, right? She almost looks like Moana from the Disney movie uh, Moana. Yeah. So all of this lava, and I feel like this been this has been internally collecting in this beautiful person, which could be you, and I think it is you. This has been internally collecting from your heart chakra because if you notice, it starts here and it starts spilling out in March. The crown is also highlighted too. Look at her crown space. So I see that, and Knight of Cups can be new. Knight of Cups is a new love. I don't think that's someone from the past at all. I don't get like it's a ex returning during retrograde. I feel like this is a surprising new contact, one of which maybe you already know them, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio but it's because you've chosen to heal. You didn't go back, okay? Back to a toxic chapter, back to obsession or devil-like energy. You've chosen to do the one last cry and proceed forward. I'm very firm on saying that because I can see everything here. Also, just to make it a little bit better for you, the world is like the complete ending. This is closing out a karmic cycle. This is closing out toxic cycles with people who no longer fit with the scheme of the person that you're becoming. Also, like a lot of a lot of planning goes into this Libras. When you close a chapter, you definitely don't recontact yourself. And I think many of you are learning that that many people will return to you but not necessarily you going back. Okay, they don't fit your spiritual plan is what I want to say. And so we have an emperor here. Um, I get loving feelings. I do get that somebody wants to maybe even restore something. This could be a past person returning to be the new person. And this is Aries, but they don't have to be. They can just be a fire sign. There's a message here about someone a tad younger than you is what's coming through. And I want to go back to the Queen of Wands. For my masculines, you regain vitality and energy. For my females, this shows up on the outer version of you. So that's like a huge thing, which I want to clarify. There's a past person here that's like always going to miss you though. Six of Cups. 
that's what I'm getting in the Ten of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. I'm going to put that there because I feel like that's involved in the story. Let's see your Queen of Wands. Let's clarify that and the Emperor. Let's see the Queen of Wands, please. Thank you. Four of Swords is the only popper outer and it's also sideways. So what that means is that generally you've gotten your rest. Again, it's like after you've healed, you took a long break. Also, you've adjusted to the new earth and the new times that are coming in. And that's when you get your fire back, okay? Stella gets her groove back is immediately what I see here. And I think it happens in March or April. Like you get a lot of energy, a lot of downloads with the moon inside the teardrop. So you get information which helps you. Uh, it's a vigor. It's an energy that comes back to you, which reminds you of the old Libra that you once were. Maybe you dance more. Maybe you go take up classes. It's something about moving your body and energizing yourself. I think it's hard to get up to that point because of all the rest that was taken, but then I do feel like you get it back, if that makes sense. I want to do more clarification on that because this extends for the whole week, so I want to see when that actually drops. Can I see the Queen of Wands a little deeper? Thank you. We have the Chariot, and it was upright. So you do get momentum. I don't speak out of my ass. <laughs> I'm telling you guys when I see or feel energy, I immediately got momentum, and you have the momentum card here. It's speedy things that start occurring, and it's also the Chariot, which is Cancerian. You could, have, you could be part Cancerian also. You maintain movement through something that you're positively reinforcing each and every day. It could be affirmations or something that you looked at, okay? And I could give examples of that. I might put it in the comments today because some of you are going to ask me about this particular energy. It, all I can say is it's something to do with vigor and vitality, which is restored to you whatever age you are. You get a pick-me-up around mid-March, that's what I see. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Sagittarius. Could be dealing with Sagittarius or a close relationship with a Sagittarian and the High Priestess. She's going to be a big card this week, okay? I see that your intuition has actually led you to this emperor, like waiting and actually making good decisions. Also, it might not be the emperor of your past. I'm Again, I'm feeling new energy and I think it's a new person. Okay, you start off with really good conversations. We would need the Empress here to have a perfect match, but I think it's explaining what you've just gone through by showing her, Queen of Wands. Let's get the last conclusion. The conclusion from the Ten of Cups to Temperance. Temperance is also important. It's a major. What is the Emperor? New person, the Eight of Wands. And I only wanted to speak with one card, Four of Pentacles. Okay, so it kind of went back to someone of the old... I think that they stay in your energy. So just be aware of that. Because as the card is showing, it's just a message. So we have the Eight of Wands and it's messages and communication. During Mercury retrograde, it's all about talking. It's about responses, communicating, technology. Technology even failing at times. And the Eight of Wands is a reminder that this person is actually going to develop more back and forth talking with you or it's already in your life. We have a lot of fire. He's fire. This card is fire. Aries Leo Sagittarius. I hope this helped you for the morning. I'm going to return in the office for your love reading. I hope this was helpful for you. Pick a pile one and two. Please use the comment space today. Let us know what resonated. Also what didn't because I realize readings will not fully resonate for you. And I hope you have a great passage today and pathway. I hope that you get all the helpful hints that go on throughout your day and happy Monday. This was your lunar eclipse pick up.